Today, I have a jazzed up version of your basic grilled cheese sandwich, baked pita with cheese, tomatoes, and cucumbers. This is also a fun recipe for the kids to help you make and eat for lunch. So these sandwiches are not only easy to make, but they're also an easy way to get a serving of vegetables and a serving of whole grains into your day. The American Heart Association recommends eating four to five servings of fruits and four to five servings of vegetables each day, along with at least three servings of whole grains. So let's get to it. I have my oven preheating at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, or you could use a toaster oven for these instead. I have four pieces of whole wheat pita bread that I cut in half. When buying pita bread or any type of bread, look for whole grain or whole wheat options. The best way to tell if you're truly buying whole grain bread is to read the ingredient list and make sure that the first ingredient says whole wheat or whole before the grain's name. Next, I have four ounces of shredded non-fat mozzarella cheese, which equals one cup shredded, to mix with one minced garlic clove, and one half teaspoon of dried basil. So that's all mixed up, and now it's time to stuff our pita pockets. Along with mixing everything up, kids would love to do this step too. So I'm putting in about two tablespoons of the cheese mix into each pocket. If you want some extra protein, you could add drained, canned light tuna to these, and then you'd be making tuna melts. These are done. And I've lined them up on this cookie sheet. You could also use any type of flat pan or even aluminum foil if you prefer. Now I'm gonna go put them in the oven and let them bake for five minutes or until the cheese melts. So our cheese pitas are done and I've already plated them. Now I'm gonna add cucumber, tomato slices, and green onion to go with each sandwich. I sliced up one large cucumber and two medium tomatoes to divvy up among the floor plates. I chopped up one green onion that I'll sprinkle on now. Another variation on these sandwiches would be to use corn tortillas, which are also a whole grain instead of the whole wheat pita bread. And basically, you'd be making cheese quesadillas. For extra flavor, you could experiment with different herbs like oregano or mint. Sometimes I'll stuff them with sprouts or chopped lettuce as well. And now, lunch is served. So, remember this baked pita with cheese, tomatoes, and cucumbers recipe the next time you're stumped on what to make for a heart-healthy lunch.